In this episode... Let's begin! Hello amazing viewer! On this adventure we explore a newly constructed temple located in the Pitsunolok province, Pitsunolok city. Come join us! Where should I park? Um, I don't know. Alright, we're at a temple in Pitsunolok, the city. This temple is actually relatively new. Uh, we've seen it when we first moved to Pitsunolok. Uh, they were still doing construction on it. A lot of scaffolding that was hugging the, the main temple building. But this is the temple. Honestly, don't know where to walk in. <clears throat> so, we're gonna try to find the entrance. I don't know what. I have one more. I didn't do it. It could be in the storage room. <coughs> Still recovering from sickness, which is awesome. Looks like there's some sort of entrance over here. There you go, there's the entrance. Or at least an entrance. Looks like there's still some scaffolding that's around the building, the main building. Let's go check it out. Looks like we could have parked inside versus outside. <laughs> it's okay. Looks like they're still constructing it, so. <clears throat> this thing is massive. So much detail. You can see some of the workers way up on top. <clears throat> At least the the scaffolding they use like a yellow color. So it kind of blends in. Yeah, they have a lot of parking inside. Just so ornate, Just a lot of detail everywhere. And the paint looks like it's still wet. This is so fresh. I mean, look, look at the detail here. That's just amazing. I mean, it's not even done. And it looks beautiful, even with the scaffolding. Inside. <clears throat> uh, looks like we can go inside. 
This is great. <laughs> Make donation? Yeah. I do, I have 50. Yeah, you put by yourself. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here's my, my tambun. <laughs> Well, it looks like you can uh, rent a <clears throat> rent an umbrella. I'm going to guess that these pieces here, we decorate them with the little cloth, and then they will attach this to the building. Just amazing. So beautiful. So yeah, these will be on the corners of the building. And then the sparkles coming off of these, just It's a huge Buddha statue over here. Let's go check this out. I will have to take my turn to wrap these pieces of cloth. Actually, they're more like mesh, like a... Yeah, you, you can see here, right? Like a mesh. All right, sorry for the dirt. But there we go. Ah, it's a big statue. But walking away from the building, here's a, a better view. <clears throat> I could stare at this thing all day. It's just, just so much detail the curves and the points and it's just amazing unfortunately the camera that I'm using you, um, I'm not able to zoom in super super close it's mainly well with the wide angle lens on it this is this is the closest I can get hopefully when we go inside we'll be able to see a lot more detail Hey, honey, honey, I still have mine. You got You and me? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna tie these on here.
if I'm doing this right, but give it another shot. The wife has taken some flowers and has gone up to one of the temples, one of the buildings, to make a little offering up there. <clears throat> Somebody took a lot of time to actually put all of these like, jewels everywhere to glue them on. Just amazing. All right, the missus has gone into here to make it with the flowers and do a little prayer. I'll have to use Google Translate on this to see exactly what it says. When will it be done? I mean, some parts of the roof are missing. Really? <laughs> All right, here we go. Take a look inside. Yeah. Yeah, it is still working on it, but when this is done, it's going to be just, just amazing. I kind of at a loss for words. I, I kind of like mouth dropping, <laughs> but that doesn't sound right. Oh, they jaw dropping. That's the word I wanted. Jaw dropping. Hey, that's the roof, right? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> mm -hmm.
Danny? Yeah. We'll put it. Okay. I'm not sure if they put the plastic on these pillars to prevent people from picking away at the, the diamonds. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be some years before this is done, but the outside is slowly getting there. It's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. When this is done, it's going to be just unbelievable. Right? <clears throat> I mean, even the walls have beautiful design that they're going to paint and put the diamonds everywhere. So this is what a raw wall looks like. Yeah. But even still. Wow. It's going to be really amazing. So here's what it looks like when you got the gold color on it. Look at my shoes. Bacon in the hot sun. Oh yeah, that's warm. Yeah. Well, I wonder how somebody came up with the design. Like, did they have a dream? And when they woke up and was like, I have to make this? Hey doggies. Some parts actually look like it's wax. Unless it's a base coat of yellow, and then on top of that, they put the gold. All right. Just saw this giant poster. If I was the abbot or monk staying here, I'd probably have the same big smile too. Hey doggy, what's up? Temple dog. So 
here, this is this guy. He's very happy. I would be very happy too. But to wake up and just see this. If this doesn't draw people, you know, to have a quick peek from other provinces, I, I don't know. I mean, this is just amazing. Interesting to see how they use those little tiny bricks to make the, the design and shape. I'm sure that the underlying shell is completely concrete, and then they put the, the, the little bricks on top of it to give it that unique shape like you see over here. And it does look like it's just yellow paint. It looked like it was the wax from the, the candles that they use at the temple. But it's just yellow paint, so that must be the primer. Look at me, like I'm some master construction worker of temples. I don't know anything. And I wonder why they did that wavy pattern. The only thing I think of is just make for a nice rough surface so you can attach other bits and pieces. So if all these little doorways are actually usable when it's open, it's great when you know they have some prayer session inside and then everybody want to, wants to exit the building, you can easily. You can see the bricks. My wife probably thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> it's like it's just a brick. But, I mean, they designed the little tiny pieces. And the pigeons. The pigeons probably thank everybody already for building this monstrous temple for them to all their own. It's hot. So I'm going to say that this part of the temple, I was actually here before anything else. So this must be like the original. Honey, can I take a peek? We're going to have a look-see. Yeah, they have these little mats here because the floor is like on fire. Mm. Wow. is like inside of these temple buildings because they tell stories all along the wall. It's probably all stories of the life of Buddha.
sometimes they'll have words and, and they'll explain what's going on. Uh, this one has little pictures at the very, very bottom. Um, but they're all in Thai and I cannot read Thai yet. My daughter can. She could read some things. But even the ceiling. Somebody had to lay on their back on scaffolding to paint that. So colorful. And here's the door leading to the temple. All carved wood. All right, here's the mats that I should have used because this ground is on fire. It's got a little bit uh, it looks like marble or granite. It's got some black in it. So the sun is just beating down on it and it's just absorbing all the heat. A lot of that, oh my gosh, my shoes are on fire too. Officially leaving. The sun is so intense that it's melted the candle <laughs> in the sunlight. Yeah, tonight. So this temple is right next to the Nan River. It's the one of the largest rivers cutting through the Pitsunolok province. And if I go straight over this way, right on the other side of that little uh, like drink stand, that's where the Nan River is. And there's a lot of uh, restaurants that go up and down along this road here. And some of them are e even on the river, like houseboat type style uh, restaurants. So my wife said, hey, let's go here tonight and eat. So not only can we come here and eat right on the river, but the other thing is the lady that we were just speaking to inside the temple said that at night, they have a lot of lights that are on the, the, the big temple over here. And she said it's very, very beautiful. So we'll do a night run and check out the lights and Put all that together for you guys to see. Thanks for watching.